This is a rather tricky number 21. Have a go at this and then have a look at my answer. Okay, now this is difficult, I think, but uh, see if you can bear with me. Now, when we've got to do a proof like this, you've got to do it in general terms. You can't just sort of take a few numbers and show it. You've actually got to prove it. So let's kick off by letting n be any old number. So n is an integer. So the next integer is n plus 1. So we've got to prove two things are equal, so let's look at them one at a time. Let's start off with the second bit, because that's a bit easier. So we've got to show something's equal to the sum of these two integers. So obviously the sum of these two is just them added together. So that's n plus n plus 1, which is 2n plus 1. Now, uh, the first bit is a bit more hard, let's, a bit more difficult. Let's look at this. So the difference between the squares of any two consecutive integers. So the difference between the two squares. So, how do you work out a difference between two things? You take the biggest one and then you take away the smaller one. So that's why we've got a taking away here. So the bigger one is obviously the, num the second number. So we're talking about the square of this number. So it's the square of n plus 1. And then we're taking away, we're then taking away the, um, the first number, uh, which is n, and the square of that, which is n squared. So that's the key bit. So... Uh, basically, from now on, it's just algebra. So n plus 1 all squared is n plus 1 times n plus 1. Multiply that out using FOIL, we get n squared plus 2n plus 1. We're taking away the n squared, and we get 2n plus 1. And that's what we'd hoped would, would happen. We've, we've shown that both bits are 2n plus 1, therefore they are the same.